for those of you who Welcome back or to my YouTube channel. My name is Ricky or Hey Liz and I do art stuff. For today's YouTube video, I'm going to talk to you about how I learned to draw. Now, I want to preface this video with saying that everyone has their own journey. Some people go to school, some people start super, super young and they're crazy 13 year olds with amazing skill. I am completely and utterly self-taught, so I thought I would just explain how I got to where I am today. A couple of announcements before we get started. Firstly, we started doing monthly challenges over on the Discord. This month's challenge is draw your OC as a mermaid. For those of you who don't know or are new to the art community, a handful of months throughout the year we have as an art community like these things that we do and one of them for May is mermaid. So we figured it was a perfect challenge. It was such a fun idea. The winners will be a community vote. It is not picked by me or anybody else. And the winner receives a 20% off gift card to the shop. So be sure to check out the discord. The link is down below, um, but I will bore you no longer. Let's get into today's video. For the process, I will be sharing my tulip drawing, which is a new drawing I did for spring. And I'm honestly really, really proud of it. So I hope you enjoy the process while I discuss um, how I look learned to draw. My very first and biggest information on how I learned to draw and honestly a tip um, before I say it I want you all to know that I'm not trying to up my YouTube please check out other artists there are so many wonderful people on YouTube Instagram all that good good video content now I say this because I truly believe that I learned to draw by watching process videos. If you're one of those people who can sit through a four hour video of someone real time drawing, props, absolute props, but I do not have the patience for that. So I remember in 2017 when I was going through a lot and I decided, you know, maybe I'll be a full time artist. Sounds cool. <laughs> Um, I remember I used to watch process videos. Now these are sped up process videos, sometimes titled speed paints, sometimes time lapse. I would watch them for hours and I truly believe that I learned to draw that way. Now, truly, I learned to draw by practice, but by watching other artists create, learning how they did it by simply seeing what they did next or how they shaped a face, it really affected my growth. So I highly recommend studying other artists' time lapses. Now in a time lapse, you cannot see how they're placing their layers or what brushes they're using. And while that's super true, there's so much to learn from other artists. And that brings me to my next tip is studying other artists. There's something that a lot of um, artists and creators like to say, and it's called stealing like an artist. Now, this brings me into the topic of art style, which I don't really want to get into too much. I have a couple of videos on that if you are interested, but ultimately learn to draw what you love. If you love how someone is drawing their eyes, give it a go. Don't steal an art style. Don't, don't completely steal someone else's work, but uh, it's like Frankensteining. A style together. The more and more that you practice, the more your style is going to come out, the more you're going to improve. Now that brings me to my third tip and that is practice, practice, practice. Now I'd like to make it very clear that practicing 24 hours a day, seven days a week, while sure might be effective, it's also really hard on you. So remember that taking a rest is productive towards better productivity. I know my regulars hear me say that all the time. I'm so sorry, but I mean it every freaking time. Get some sleep, rest your hand, all that. But please remember that yes, the ultimate tip is always going to be practice. I highly recommend picking a certain topic, whether it be your drawing side profiles that day, your drawing noses that day, your drawing eyes that day. Although I bet a lot of us artsy people have drawn a lot of eyes <laughs> in our time. My point is that practice doesn't make perfect, but it does make progress. So take the time, do the daily sketch, keep it small if you need a day off or take some days off. All of these things are going to be beneficial to your growth. Another tip is don't get stuck on having to use 
certain brushes or thinking that certain brushes are going to make you amazing. Now, sure, there's going to be brushes that make things easier for us or that you simply enjoy more, all that good good, but what it comes down to is your own skill and ability. I started dreaming of being a full-time artist in about 2017 and, well, looking back, I definitely, <laughs> I'm very lucky to have had supportive people um, who kept me going because now I am where I am today. My point is, is that tools don't make the artist. There's, like I said, there's going to be certain brushes and things that sure make things easier or have a different effect but you don't need all these things to be able to grow. So if you're a new artist and you don't wanna be spending money on brushes, don't. Even better, Procreate has wonderful brush creating capabilities. Now, I'm crap at that. Please don't ask me how to do it, but it is possible. So look into it, check out videos and keep playing around with it. Eventually you're gonna find a brush that makes you go, whoa, I kinda of like this. I kinda of like how my style is changing with this new brush etc etc i know this seems like a stupid tip but ultimately i see a lot of people get stuck on like oh my gosh what brush is that like all that kind of thing and you know do what you can but it's not it's not an, a necessity another tip seems kind of obvious as well but it's trying new techniques i remember i used to draw shadows on skin with you know the same color with multiply and then at one point i think in 2017 i started doing it with the blue with the red rim i've seen other artists do it and i tried it in my own work and i loved it and i feel like it changed a lot of my art it brought more color and interest into it so try new things don't get stuck in a rut and remember that artists are truly always always learning this comes back to the saying of practice doesn't make perfect it makes progress another tip is do not get stuck on a drawing if you are just not vibing and it is you're redrawing it a million times try something new and my last tip kind of follows up with that is not every single drawing is going to turn out even your favorite huge artists online they've got tons of work that they just don't like that just didn't turn out to the same quality that they aspire all their work to turn out to and they don't post it so if you draw something one day and you're like whoa ew this is quite bad don't worry about it move on to the next thing it doesn't make you a bad artist it makes you a normal one ultimately i truly believe that watching process videos studying other artists and creating as often as i was mentally and physically capable helped me grow and I still have a really, really long way to go, but looking at this piece here and why I decided to use it for the process video, I painted a lot of this on one layer. Now I was using multiple layers and merging, but old me would not have been able to create anything out of that. It would have become a absolute blob. Now, <laughs> This is a technique and I don't use it in everything, but I had a lot of fun with it. And this is again, why it's important to practice and try new techniques because as an artist or as a creator, creative in general, we're gonna get bored of things and that's okay. If you don't get bored of it and you end up doing the same thing over and over again and it's working for you, that's okay. Once again, I repeat from the, er from the earliest part of this video is every artist has their own journey and it seems like bull but <laughs> i've been through a lot and i just want to remind you to keep going and if you look at your art now and say holy crap this sucks whatever the coolest thing about being an artist is you'll only get better as long as you keep going and practicing and learning new things that's it for my little video i hope i didn't bore you all too much with my usual ranting but i appreciate you if you've watched this far i hope that you're feeling creative today and get something out and you're happy with it and if you're not well that's okay eat some cheese <laughs> don't forget to leave a comment down below subscribe for almost weekly videos and i will see you in the next one bye